Welcome to America everyone, Sober Oni of GNA Reviews here with a servant spotlight for the anti fiat himself, Li Xuan. We'll be examining his stats and skills as well as going over pointers on how to utilize him effectively and an overall grade comparing him to how he stacks up to the other 4 star servants. I also have a spotlight out for the other 5 star story unlock servant, Meb, as well so do check that out right after this. Now on to Li's stats. Lee has a max HP of 11,360, it's the lowest among all 4 star lancers but overall about average for a 4 star servant. His max attack is 9,653, making him second only to Lancer Alter among the 4 star lancers and even when compared to all other 4 stars in general, his attack is very high. And that's before you factor in the Lancer damage modifier which effectively makes his attack 10,135. Now taking a look at his skills. His first skill is Chinese Martial Arts rank A++++. It applies short hit for one turn and increases his crit strength between 50 to 100% for one turn depending on level. Li's second skill is Sphere Boundary rank B which applies evade for one turn and increases his crit star gather rate between 300 to 500% for one turn depending on level. Finally Li's third skill is Zhejiao rank B which applies ignore invincibility for one turn and increases his arc card effectiveness between 30 to 50% for one turn depending on level. Li's only passive is Magic Resistance rank D which increases his debuff resist by 12.5% Moving on to his deck and Noble Phantasm, Lee has a light arts deck with Quick Quick, Arts Arts Buster, and an Arts Noble Phantasm. Lee's Noble Phantasm is Shinso Nuichi Razu, which deals significant damage to a single target that ignores defense with between a 900 to 1500% damage modifier, depending on level. Gives a chance to inflict death between 40 to 80%, depending on overcharge, and decreases enemy defense for 3 turns by 20%. Taking a closer look at his cards, we see that his quick card hits 3 times, his arts card hits 3 times, his buster hits once, and his extra attack hits 5 times. His noble phantasm gain rate is 0.52% and his star rate is 12.20%. Overall that's above average star generating and decent noble phantasm gain for a lancer due to the 3 hit arts and quick cards as well as a 5 hit extra. Finally he's here. We finally get our first gold arts lancer. This one doesn't count. And unlike the Arts Lancers before him, Lee is actually good. He has two main points of focus, being an Arts Crit Servant and being able to hit through anything. Seriously, Lee's pretty much unblockable. Zhui Zhao is the best example of this and Lee's signature skill. It's a mixture of Mana Burst and Dante's Iron Determination, giving Lee a Mana Burst for his Arts cards while also giving him the ability to pierce invincibility. So your attacks can't be evaded or neutralized. The fact that this gives an arch buff instead of a regular old attack buff like Dante's does is even better because should you land an arch crit with this active, you can gain a huge chunk of Noble Phantasm charge on top of doing extra damage. In case invincibility pierces overkill, Lee also packs a short hit in his first skill, Chinese Martial Arts, allowing him an additional way to hit through evade. It also grants him a 100% crit damage buff, making this Lee's primary crit skill. And if you want to see how scary a 100% crit buff can be, watch my Rama video. And finally, Lee has defense covered with Spear Boundary, which grants Evade and Crit Star Absorb. It may seem like the short hit and invincibility pierce are redundant, but when you consider how many archers have an Evade, it'll come in handy more often than you think. For skill order, max Joy Zhao first to maximize Noble Phantasm damage, followed by Chinese Martial Arts for crit damage, and finally Sphere Boundary. And just to cover all the bases, Lee's Noble Phantasm also ignores defense. All in all, this means it's going to be impossible to avoid taking full damage from Lee's Noble Phantasm, as neither evade, nor invincibility, nor defense stacking will work. On top of that, Lee's Noble Phantasm is also a powerful single target attack. When it comes to pinning down a very defensive enemy, no one is better than Lee. And because of his crit star absorb and large crit damage buff, he can deal a ton of damage in a single turn and repeat every time his cooldowns are reset. Very much like Rama. But unlike Rama, Lee has a few minor faults that prevent him from reaching that level. For one, Lee's cooldowns are a lot longer. When you consider that his skills only last a turn and his cooldowns are 6 turns at max rank, you'll go for long stretches of the battle without any skills to rely on, so timing is critical, pun intended. 
Speaking of which, Lee's crit star absorb skill is tied to his evade, and that's another problem. You'll often be forced to choose whether you want to activate this skill offensively or defensively. And more often than not, you'll be forced into using this defensively to avoid an enemy noble phantasm, which leaves you with no surefire way of gathering crit stars, thus eliminating a large portion of your damage. Remember that as a lancer, Lee has pretty poor star weight. And the same is true in reverse. Using this skill to unleash your crit combo leaves you fully open to an enemy noble phantasm with very long wait times until your evade is back up. I should also note that while Lee's star generating isn't bad, he doesn't produce enough to feed himself stars consistently, so you will likely need a star generating support. Naturally, that makes any arch crit star generator like Assassin Shiki, Mozart, and Tamamo a perfect match for Lee. Tamamo in particular complements Lee very strongly with her ability to lower cooldowns, so he can have more access to his evade and crit skills, and also because Fox Wedding is broken and when paired with Zhu Zhao, gives him a 2000 HP heal, a 100% arts buff, and the ability to pierce through evade and invincibility. Speaking of which, Hans, Waver, and Nero Bride are strong supports as well for buffing Lee, while Media Lily, George, and Mosh are good options for keeping him alive if you're afraid you won't have your evade up when you need it. Lee can also be a decent star generator himself for other crit servants like Nursery Rhyme if you give him a 2030 or another star drop boosting craft essence. Lee's bond craft essence is skill that rivals the gods, and it provides the party with a 15% arts buff. Not a bad craft essence, especially on an all arts team, but it's preferable to go with another ending which is the best on Lee for obvious reasons. Formal craft, Halloween princess, and Gudao are good alternatives if you prefer to buff your noble phantasm damage over your crit damage. And Moonlight Fest 2030 and Kitchen Patriciere are good options if you want to produce more crit stars with Lee. Overall, Lee is not only a good arts lancer, he's the best one and really the only one as the other two options, Fionn and Ben and Kay, don't fit well in any offensive teams. That alone gives Lee a lot of value, but on top of that he is a solid crit servant with a strong niche as an unblockable attacker. He does have problems with long cooldowns and there is a learning curve when it comes to figuring out when to use his skills offensively and when to play defensively, but all in all he does get a B plus from me. Lances are a solid class and Lee is a solid addition to that class. If you're someone who uses arts teams a lot, then I highly recommend rolling for Lee. He is one of the better offensive arts servants and your best choice for an arts lancer. And those are my thoughts on Lee. Now we just need his assassin version and I'll be happy. Let me know what you guys think and what servants you're rolling for in the comments below and please also check out the Meb Spotlight linked both on screen and in the description. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video and consider subscribing if you really enjoyed the video. Join the party over our Discord, chill with us on Twitch, and follow us on Twitter. And I'll see you all in the next Servant Spotlight. So Roni out. Later.